Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another editor scripting tutorial where we are continuing the enemy designer tool. In this tutorial, we're actually going to learn about something a little bit different. We want to create help boxes to help the user of our editor tool make the correct decisions. So that's what we're going to be getting into today. Okay, so we're going to want to add a function called save character data, which is going to be responsible for actually outputting our data files to our project directory. And then we want to include in our draw settings function at the bottom a button that's going to allow us to finish and save. So let's go back to Unity and see what this gives us. Okay, so now we have a finish and save button, but when I click this, the window closes. Of course, I'm not going to get any output because we haven't written that functionality yet. But let's assume that we did have that functionality. Uh, what's going to be outputted if I don't have a prefab selected and I don't have a name selected? So these are two important variables that we really care about before we're allowed to finish and save. And so we're going to sort of guide the user of our editor tool to make their correct choices here or their correct decisions. So let's go back to our script and add these help boxes. So what we're going to do is add a couple if statements. First we want to check to see if our char data dot prefab exists. So if it doesn't exist, then we want to create a help box call. So write the following line here. Okay, so we have editor GUI layout, which we should be familiar with by now. We're going to use the dot help box function. We're going to pass the message that we want our help box to tell the user. And then the second parameter is a message type. So we have three message types. We can have info, we can have warning, or we can use error. And this is basically just going to give our help box a slightly different color. We're going to use warning for our purposes. So this will tell us uh, the this enemy needs a prefab before it can be created. The reason I put this in brackets is because it's an explicit term that we actually define within our editor window. So that should make it more recognizable to what the user uh, should make it more recognizable to the user to what they have to do. So let's go back to the editor window and see what this does. Okay, so now because I don't have a prefab selected we're going to get this error message or this warning message. Now let's say I did have a prefab. Let's make our camera a prefab temporarily and drag that into the prefab slot. And now that our prefab exists, that help box goes away, which is exactly what we would want. Okay, but we still have a problem because the user is still able to finish and save while there's no prefab. So we wanna make sure that we uh, use this functionality in an if else if statement. So let's go back to our code and make that adjustment. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll say after this if statement, we'll say else if. In other words, if this executes, we won't see a button. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so now if we don't have a prefab, we get the help box message and we don't see a finish and save button. However, if we drag the prefab on here, we'll see the finish and save button. Now we also wanna make sure that our character's name has some length. So let's go ahead and add an if statement for that. So we're going to add an else if here. Only now we're checking for the character data dot name. And what we'll check is two things. We'll say if char data dot name equals null or char data dot name dot length is less than one. If either of those two conditions are true, then we want to make sure that we add a help box warning. Okay, only instead of prefab, we will add name here. And that should do it. Okay, so first off, we don't have a prefab. Let's go ahead and add a prefab. And now our warning changed from the enemy needs a name or 
changed from the enemy needs a prefab to the enemy needs a name. So let's add some characters here. And after we add characters, we have the finish and save option. Now let's say we were to backspace out. And now that we have zero characters in our name, we're getting that warning again. So this, this is exactly what we wanted. And we are done with this tutorial. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.